Nayak. He is at presently director of Garware Institute of Career Education and Development in University of Mumbai. He had approximately 20 years of uh, teaching experience. Out of 20 years of experience, uh, 10 years he was a director. At present also he is director. Earlier he was director of Lakshmi Institute of Management, Gujarat. And he had published two books, 35 research paper, and he is involved in uh, consultancy activity to various uh, companies. So with this, I'm handing over to the session to Professor K.M. Nayak. Sir, uh, it's up to you. You may take your time. And yes, sir, yes. Uh, if you want, you may make a video of also no issue. Fine, fine, sir. Shall I start the session, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's up to you. Uh, yeah. But then, sir, would you like to say anything? No, nothing, nothing. Let me start. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, you may start, sir. Good afternoon to all of you. So, in today's time, skill-based education in higher education is very, very important. So, there are various tools such as Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, Python, R. There are so many softwares which are coming nowadays in the market. And uh, how to use it for business intelligence perspective is very important. So let me brief you about the software. There are three versions of Microsoft Power BI. The first version is Microsoft Power BI Desktop. So this software is available free of cost on Google. Go to Google and put search criteria. Micro install Microsoft Power BI Desktop. So the moment you type this particular line in Google search, it will take you to the Microsoft website. And from website, you can download that particular software, which is free of cost available to you. But this free of cost version has its own limitation. You can work with limited features. And you can do basic dashboard creation, storytelling kind of stuff. You can easily perform in Power BI desktop version. The another version is Microsoft Power BI Pro version. So Pro version, you have to pay $10 per user per month. It means $120 per annum. So pro versions allow you, pro version allow you to create dashboards and you can share those dashboard on mobile as well as web. So whatever reports, whatever business intelligence you are creating in terms of charts, that can be shared on mobile as well as on the website. So for example, a business owner is sitting in USA and he wants to know the sales of India. Then this is possible in Microsoft Power BI Pro version. A data analyst sitting in India can create dashboard and can share to the business owner who is sitting in USA. And then that is also possible to share on website. So if a business owner is traveling in a car or in a train, or if he is on holiday, still he can get updates of the business which is running on different geography. Let us say, for example, Jeff Bejo, who is the CEO of Amazon, wants to know which are the items sold in India how many of them are sold in Mizoram, Mumbai, Gujarat, Rajasthan, New Delhi, then that is possible. He can sit in the USA and at the same time, he can get business insights from Indian markets. Similarly, he can come to know the data of Chinese market and many other markets. So that is possible with pro version and not possible with the desktop version. So the first version is desktop version 
the second version is pro version third version is premium version so premium version is used by the e-commerce company because they have to store large amount of records on cloud storage for example walmart amazon flipkart so every second millions of transactions are happening on the web portal of uh, these company so they need a large amount of data storage so data storage is possible on amazon web service then microsoft azure or google cloud lab so when data are stored in cloud storage and enterprise wide solution is required then power bi premium version is very important so the, we have seen three version of power bi now let us discuss what we can do using microsoft power bi using microsoft power bi we can generate bar chart pie chart donut chart and and there are some 26 charts even you want to see location of google map that is also possible in power bi and suppose you want to know why there is increase or decrease in the sales of the product during particular month suppose in the month of january if sales is increased as compared to december so if you want to know the reason why it has increased simply go and click on the bar right click on the bar and analyze increase just select analyze increase so once you click on analyze increase then the artificial intelligent tool of microsoft power, power bi will let you know which product has got increase in sales and which products have get decrease in sales so this and and that is done through the artificial intelligence feature of microsoft power bi that's beautiful thing we can do over there another feature of power bi is slicer filtering suppose you want year wise data month wise data product wise data gender wise data geographic wise data all kind of reports can be easily created in microsoft power bi and as a student or as a researcher or as a professor one must know this cutting edge technology uh, because those who have expertise on microsoft power bi they can get 6 lakhs rupees job in india and and they can get like 1 crore job 1 crore rupees job in us market and and this is highly needed skill in the indian as well as the global market the competing product is uh, click view and tableau so along with microsoft power bi it's essential for you to know the use of tableau software and click view so if you look at market share then microsoft has the highest market share as compared to other dashboard creation products in the market now let me tell you the ai artificial intelligent feature of microsoft power bi so microsoft power bi influencer key influencer and decomposition tree so what is key influencer key influencer says that which are the factors influencing our business so the key influencers are those factors key influencers are those factors which are significantly generating profit in our business and and they are very crucial and very profitable for our business so no need to worry upload the data import the data in power bi and simply click on the menu item called key influencer automatically the key influencer will be displayed on the screen so what can be the key influencers demand of the product a particular country or a particular sales manager a particular 
मार्केटिंग मैनेजर और इवन इट कुड बी ए पर्टिकुलर कस्टमर ऑल्सो सो हु आर गुड फॉर अवर बिजनेस एंड हु आर नॉट गुड फॉर अवर बिजनेस दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट फीचर ऑफ पावर बी आई विल जनरेट दोज इन साइट एंड डिस्प्ले बिफोर द बिजनेस मैन एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ही कैन टेक सर्टेन बिजनेस डिसीजन whom to eliminate from the business and whom to keep in the business as a sales manager so all those pattern can be visible in microsoft power bi another feature is decomposition map now decomposition map is also similar to key influencers so it segregates the good factor and bad factor in in terms of decomposition map so it's something like positive and negative in the business and uh, how can we take a uh, benefits out of it um uh, another feature is slicer and kpi so what is kpi so key information key performance index suppose i want to know sales expense profit and monthly sales then there is one feature called card visual so the moment you put a card on the power bi desktop canvas area and and the moment you drag some sales figure into that card the total will automatically take place and and if you have quantity and rate if you have quantity and rate and you want to calculate the amount then you have to do data transformation so data transformation can be done in microsoft power bi there is one feature called power bi query editor so in query editor you can add new column you can even add conditional column and and you can generate colors and so many other features are possible in microsoft uh, query editor third feature third feature is data modeling so what is data modeling data modeling means when record is got disconnected uh, will join back we here Professor Nayak is facing some internet connectivity problem. He is trying to join back. Please be here.
Uh, he is trying to join. So just we are with us. So let us continue our discussion on Microsoft Power BI data analytics. So what kind of data it can analyze? Suppose if you want to perform parametric test, if you want to generate patterns, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, donut chart, suppose you want to know the profit by region, profit by segment, profit by gender, profit by continent, so it's a matter of just few click. The moment you do select profit and region, the chart will appear before you. You can create legend and, and so many other features are available which can be used to create dashboard and storytelling. So for a businessman, one lakh records are not important. But what is the summary of that one lakh record? And how can we display it? How can we display the summary of those one lakh record is very important. And uh, another feature, the type of data which can be imported by Microsoft Power BI. Suppose it is a PDF file, XML file, Java file, Excel file, SPSS file, all formats are accessible in Microsoft Power BI. Data from Microsoft Azure Web Cloud can also be fetched. But for that, there is a requirement of uh, enterprise addition, which is very costly. And I think $100 per user per month is the cost for the company. Still, it is the cheapest software among all business intelligence software. If you compare with uh, Tableau, ClickView, then Power BI is cheaper than those other software. So <laughs> what is BDR, Business Requirement Document, BRD? BRD stands for Business Requirement Document. So what kind of report business require from the analyst? That has to be captured first. And once it is captured, then the analyst needs to start designing the dashboard, then structuring data. So structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data, all type of data can be imported, can be imported in Power BI. And once data are available in Power BI, then the analyst can start generating charts, patterns, insights, and can present those things, then can present those things before the businessman. That's how Power BI can be helpful to the businessman. And as a student, you can get starting salary somewhere around four to five lakhs rupees, five to six, six lakhs rupees in the market and there is huge demand. Work from home is also possible using this software. So any question from any participants in between? Any any question is there from participant? Uh, sir, uh, our participants are not having uh, access to audio. So they will put their question in chat box. So far, there is no question in chat box, sir. So you may continue, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
fine let us start another journey suppose let's take a domain of hr human resource management an hr manager wants to know how many employees are there in the company what is their monthly salary how many of them are above 50 years old how many of them are young old and middle age um how many of them have taken highest leave how many of them are very particular in their attendance if they want to know all this kind of uh pattern then it is helpful to hr manager also if a supply chain manager wants to know what are the procurement of material how many kilograms of material came how many are approved how many are defected what generally it takes time to reach to the company premises and and uh, so many feature of supply chain management if someone wants to know then this is possible with the help of uh, microsoft power bi suppose a marketing manager wants to know which uh, marketing channel facebook instagram or or any other medium is feasible or feasible for uh, marketing of the product and from which channel we are getting maximum customers so if we <clears throat> want to know all this kind of trends then it is possible using microsoft power bi and as far as uh, finance department is concerned um whether we should give loan to the people or not how much loan have been sanctioned how much loan has been recovered how much interest we have on so from finance and banking perspective also this software is very helpful similarly in the domain of insurance how many policies sold how many are not sold what is the premium we are earning every month and uh, what are the claims coming to us and how many of them have been settled down how many of them have been rejected all those kind of patterns we can find out using Pi power bi so this is how microsoft power bi is helpful in almost all domains uh you want to know the movie rating netflix want to know the director's rating movie ratings which movie has highest sales which movie has lowest sales who who is the director very famous all those kind of things can also be tracked out in power bi software so these are some of the features i have introduced to you different versions of uh, power bi i have introduced the utility i have introduced the domains where power bi can be used i have introduced and and the business requirement documents we have seen still if you want to know i think for from my side this is quite enough um content which i have delivered so if any question is there i think sir has already spoken that there are not having audio so they can't ask questions so let me know still i have to continue the session or we can add it over here uh, sir uh, this session is up to 3 so you have to continue sir okay it is 1 and 1/2 yeah, yeah, yeah. yes 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 so now let us take one example company called mary life science so mary life science they are into sales of uh, medical devices so i have done one consultancy project for mary life science they have huge amount of employees some 2000 employees so out of those uh, 2000 employees how many are regular during last 6 month and how many of them have taken maximum leave during last 6 month 
an hr manager wants to to know this fact so for that purpose the data is available in different file format in json file what happens in this company Uh, Professor Naik is facing some problem with internet, so be here. He is joining back. Audible, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Now audible. Am I am I audible? Yes, yes. Audible, sir. Audible. So, let me, no problem. Fine, fine. Thank you. So, I was briefing you about one of my consultancy project which I have done uh, during last summer. Uh, Marine Life Science is a company where employees are coming early in the morning and they do register. their attendance through either finger or face reading and the data is automatically captured by the machine in a json file java file so 4000 employees are coming inside of the company and 4000 employees out of the company i want to know as a hr manager that during last 6 months out of those 4000 employees how many were in time and how many were late so for that i have to convert that json file java file into dot csv excel file and and uh, 
after converting it into uh, .csv excel file i have to import the data into power bi and then i have to filter data into two category who came before 9 o'clock and who came after 9 o'clock so those employee who came before 9 o'clock they are my regular employee and those who came after 9 o'clock they are my late employee so this is searchable for any month any year any period even i can put filter from this date to that date i can put filter on the month like i want to know for january month who were regular who were late comers and at the end of the month if they remain absent for more than five times i can deduct their one day full salary and if this trend continues for six months i can terminate them also as per company policy so these kind of decisions i can take using microsoft power bi in the domain of human resource management uh another thing is that if employees are leaving company then what is the attrition rate during last year during current year and how to recruit and how to fill up those positions so i want to know department wise vacancy how many employees are required in next month in upcoming month in upcoming month so if i want to know that then that is also possible using microsoft power bi for the recruitment process if i have employed some hr executives so there were some six hr executive in this mary life science company uh, and who is the fastest recruiter who invites application quickly who takes interview quickly and who recruit the employees very quickly so by finding out such kind of business intelligence i can point out who is my efficient hr executives and who is good for the company and who is uh, not so good performing for the company as a hr executive whom to give promotion and whom not to give promotion uh, i can find out all those trends using microsoft power bi in the domain of human resource management so we found all those things for the hr manager and he was so happy ke amazing feature because he was himself not able to generate all this business intelligence and insights in excel or using java file so when we prepare the monthly salary statement power bi was so helpful because it calculates number of days attended by the employees and and huge consultancy amount we can charge huge consultancy amount we can charge in uh, corporate world that's what i can tell you now let's come down why power bi why not tableau why not click view the reason is it's a microsoft product second reason is that it can run on windows platform and there is no need of uh, macintosh per platform so the limitation of power bi is that this particular software is not suitable for macintosh operating system because there it will be fail because microsoft has not given license access microsoft has not given license access to macintosh operating system so tableau is platform independent so tableau can be run on both microsoft as well as macintosh platform but 
Power BI runs only on uh, this Microsoft Windows platform. So operating system, which operating system you are using is also very important. It cannot run on any other platform. So we have seen one project of uh, this HR department of Marine Life Science. Now, how it can be helpful to education institute. Suppose we want to know the attendance of the students during the month, during the semester, during the month, during the semester, whether it is more than 75% or less than 75% that you can uh, find out. Then how many students have applied for admission? How many of the students are on merit? How many are there for pending admissions? How many of them are pass and fail? How many of them have completed degree? If an education institute wants to know all this kind of business insights or intelligence, then it's possible using Microsoft uh, Power BI software. So the thing which is very, very famous nowadays as a career, whether you are art student, become students, engineering or MBA students to learn data analytics is very important. If you want to do time series forecasting, if you want to do panel data analytics, or you want to perform any statistical data analysis, that is also possible in Power BI software. There are four views which comes before you when you open Power BI for the first time. So one is report view, Another one is table view, data model view. Three views. Which are those three views? Report view, table view, and data modeling view. So when you click on report view, you can see the dashboards. When you click on table, then you can see the data files. And when you click on data model, then the relate, relational database which is primary table and secondary table will appear before you. So this is how things can happen. This is how things can happen. Then there are there is canvas and on canvas page one is available by default. And if you want to see uh, many reports, many dashboards, then you can create. On the right-hand side of Power BI, filters are available, data visualization is available, and data view is available. So using filter, so using filter, if you want to, out of 100 products, which are my top 10 profitable products, that's what I want to see. So I have to put the filter criteria, okay, top 10 product, top 10 markets, top 10 consumers. So that also I can filter into Power BI. And it is far better than the uh, <coughs> Power Pivot and uh, Pivot table in Excel. It is far better than that. So let me tell you some other feature where now let us, I we have spoken more about the basic feature and what we can do and how we can do. But what is business intelligence? So business, how can we use Power BI for business intelligence? I want to take decision whether to launch a product in the market or not. New product to be launched in the market. 
what i will do i will have to do a survey consumer lifestyle study consumer preference consumer taste so after completion of my primary data collections from the consumers in the market i can bring data into power bi and after getting summary of their taste their preference i can decide upon the product features what kind of features my product should have suppose samsung lg they want to launch a new mobile handset in the market so which features consumer wants so that has to be studied first and then power bi will let you know through its business intelligence feature okay this is these are the data and then on data you can perform key influencers decomposition charts and then you can launch a product in the market to become a successful company so you might have heard about the fish pond diagram then linear programming so if you want to take scientific decisions then also you can use power bi software another way to sharing another topic which is known as sharing data so data sharing means after generating business intelligence insights and dashboards you can share the data on mobile how you can do that just simply go to menu call view menu and in view menu there is a feature call mobile view just simply click on mobile view and you would be able to preview the results okay how the output would be appearing in the mobile of the owner or whomever you want to share the result so that is possible in power bi and similar way you can preview how to share it on web platform it is also possible to share the results on facebook and instagram but that is to be taken care because the material information of the business should not be shared on any social media so only the product pictures or whenever you want to do promotions marketing so those kind of stuffs can be shared those kind of stuff can be shared on the those kind of stuff can be shared on the instagram and facebook now let us come down to another topic dax function data analysis expression another feature dax it is popularly known as dax query also so dax query means data analysis expression time intelligent function so in the area of finance there is something called time value of money discounting compounding so using dax query functions you can calculate time value of money you can even calculate yield till date yield to date yield to call the valuation of fixed income securities can also be performed in power bi using dax function so dax query can be performed on time intelligent functions suppose you want to know what is my yield in the business from this date to this date i want to compare my current year sales in the month of january and my previous year sales 
in the month of january i want to compare january to january two different years three different years or five years and whether it has increased or decreased as compared to the previous years the way we see uh, outcome the way we see outcome on some of the websites like screener moneycon.com so mutual fund returns so last one one year return three year return five year return those kind of stuff if we want to see then then it's possible for us to visualize output in power bi after bringing data from reliable sources and and we can also create dashboards which are in real times so the moment someone update the database it will immediately reflect in the power bi dashboard so these are the features most of the features which we have seen over here and i am going to give you few more examples what more can be done there are there is another two visualizations one is table and another one is matrix so what is matrix matrix is nothing but combination of rows and column so row will heading will be there and column heading will be there then we can also create calendar we can also create calendar in power bi and we can put filter on calendar date time that's what we can do in power bi dax function does not work only on date kind of uh, column but dax function can be performed on numerical columns also i want to know minimum sales maximum sales sales between the months sales between the two dates so for that we have to use dax function and which is popularly known as uh, data analytics expressions now uh, the option is that insert column or new column so by inserting column we can add new column to the existing table and uh, through custom column or new column we can add new thing in our existing data file that's what uh, we can do using microsoft power bi so companies like reliance tata birla in india companies like like um, maruti lg samsung they are all using this software for generating business intelligence amazon and this uh, amazon as well as walmart they are widely using it another thing is that whether the mobile bills which we are getting on our mobile screen so how do it captures how many calls you have made which plant you have went for so the mobile bill which comes on your mobile through sms is also generated using power bi and power bi is able to send it to you on your mobile handset and then millions of subscribers are there some 65 crore subscribers are there in india as far as jio is concerned so you are from which location which plan you have opted how much of data you have used and based on that it generates all results and then share it with the appropriate party to take actions and those who have not taken actions so automation is also possible in power bi software you can do automation task so this is i think all done from my side so next 20 minutes i want to 
answer if questions are there from the students or any professors. Thanks for your presentation, sir. So far, we have not received any any question, but now I'm asking, uh, dear participants, uh, please put up your questions so that sir may answer. Uh, that is a new software. I never know about anything about this. So I hope we can create. Yes, sir. We can keep we can keep offline session for teachers as well as students in Mizoram University. Uh -huh. that, that seems interesting uh, project. Uh, that software. I never used it. Yeah. Uh, but if any participants yeah. use, they can have some queries if they are facing some problems. Uh, in yeah. research methodology, now I am using this software to teach in the classroom, in PG class. Okay, okay. How, how sir, the, yeah. some example of that, how to use in research it's simply go to Google. Uh, for research methodology, if you want to do time series forecasting. Okay. It, so just upload the data, bring the data in Canvas and click on time series forecasting. All models, it will run successfully. Okay, okay. And graphs, uh, graphs will appear before you, figure be, will appear before you. So no need to worry about what happens internally. Okay, so for that, what we have to do, sir, initially we have to download this software and install. Yeah, yeah, you have to download from Google. Your network seems a little weak. Microsoft Power BI desktop. Sir, uh, your window, try to open this window. I think some network issues are there, sir. Your video also freezed. He got disconnected again. He is actually traveling and sitting in a car, so may not be having good access to internet. Okay, sir, I am making him call. Okay, okay, okay. So, friends, we are trying to contact him if he is able to join back. And meanwhile, you can put your question so that uh, as soon as he joins, you can put those questions to him.
पावर बी सॉफ्टवेयर कैन बी डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम टू सोर्सेस वन फ्रॉम वेबसाइट एंड अनदर वन इज फ्रॉम एप सो इफ यू डाउनलोड इट थ्रू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एप्लीकेशन एप इन दैट केस द सॉफ्टवेयर गेट्स अपडेटेड एवरी मंथ every month so in a year 12 times it now it is added into the software and it calculates many things automatically and perfectly the accuracy level is also 100% so key influencers decomposition charts in reason for decrease and increase no need to worry about it the software tells why so which are the products decrease in terms of sales which are the products has increase in sales uh, so all those things are automatically calculated by the software and reported to the person who wants to know all this kind of business intelligence and and data from variety of sources you name the data source pdf files get data so there is a menu item called get data click on it and then a list will appear whether whether you want to import word file excel file powerpoint file java file xml microsoft azure so if you want to connect with azure then one has to pay monthly subscription for access to the azure database also and the license cost of power bi software also this is how things work and in competition tableau is another product and click view is the third product so us companies are using power bi and click view because both are the products from us and tableau is in competition so sometimes it depends upon the company philosophy which product they want to use for their business intelligence purpose so a student or a expert has to learn all the softwares and let's have some more question answer and interactions if students are not asking professors can ask and i can answer those questions so that the remaining portion of the session could be more meaningful and uh, sir how this uh, uh, software or app whatever we call uh, is going to help teachers in their research activity Yes, yes, sir. It is going to help teachers because it calculates all kind of test also, whether okay, it is chi square test or yeah, whether it is a table. If you want to create a beautiful chart, then this is the world's best software to create the charts. And chart could be of variety of types. The way you want charts, you can generate it. As far as demographic variables are concerned. in research you want to know the demographic variable age wise gender wise occupation wise income wise if you want to gather this kind of uh, information then pie chart is there donut chart is there area chart is there not only that it will display even google map so you want to know okay respondents what is the universe of the research and the respondents are coming from which geographical area so in mizoram there could be five district in the state of mizoram there could be 100 district but your area is only five district of mizoram so in those five districts which are the tehsils and which are the village and which are the pin codes all those information will be visible in google map the map of mizoram will come so that's the beauty i mean that is not possible in any of the softwares so far um, sir one question is from dr amit kumar tiwari he is asking uh, is uh, if uh, this um, uh, power bi can be used only in paid version desktop version is free of cost that can be used for any purpose for research purpose at least we can use okay is it uh, full full version or it's um, uh, full version desktop is a full version okay only when only pro version mm -hmm. is there where you want to use that 
send data on mobile, send data on website. If you want to use those two features, mm -hmm. and after after every two days, if if you insert suppose five thousand records are there, and if you add five hundred more records, then those five hundred more records will be updated in two days if you have pro version. Okay, and that is not possible in desktop. Okay. So, so some advanced, for the, uh, advanced facilities are there. Otherwise, everything is available for free. Desktop and in ca case of premium version, updated in real time. Yeah, oh, yes, 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 desktop. Mm -hmm. Any other question from any participant? So this will search data also, sir, if we, some search box is there or something. As you are telling, it will fetch data from Google Earth or uh, um, uh, this kind of apps, Google Map. So it will fetch data or how is it going to incorporate? Sir? We have to give a there is a menu called gate data. Is so the data? moment you click on gate data menu, it will give you a list whether you want to fetch data from HTML files. So it will, you have to give. Mm -hmm. I think sir is having some severe network issues. Uh, should we end this session here because he is unable to join. Eh? He must be suffering with this <laughs> internet. Oh, he's already disconnected. So Vidu, uh, you may conclude this session and we'll... Okay, sir. Uh, thank you. I'll inform him that no need to join. Okay, okay. Okay. So, dear friends, we'll uh, um, unfortunately we are unable to finish this session because of internet connectivity at uh, Professor uh, Nayak's end. Uh, he was making an excellent presentation on Power BI. Uh, we had some questions for him, but uh, due to this connectivity issue, he couldn't continue. So, anyway, it is just ten more minutes to go. So let's uh, break this session here itself and uh, we'll, uh, we'll reassemble at 3 for the fourth session today, which is going to be 36th session of this uh, program. And that is going to be taken by Dr. Professor Himanshu Bhushan Raut. He is head department of tourism and hospitality management, Mizoram University. And he's going to talk on tourism destination management with responsible and sustainable practices. So do join us at 3 and we will start our fourth session for today. See you all at 3.